Join me this week as I continue renovations on our 80s Volkswagen. I'm still waiting on some window sills on back order before I start any major body work. So for now I'll be tackling the roof vent, painting wheels, and as usual, injuring myself. Don't touch sanders when they're spinning. First on the list today though, I've got some leftover cedar I'm hoping to join up and make into a worktop. Always wear eye protection, not just ears. I should have a mask as well. I'm gonna take my contact lens out in a minute. I think I've got them somewhat flush with the planer ish. Um, now, to join them, Dad suggested putting some biscuit joints in, making some little biscuits up using a router for the grooves. Um, I've not actually used a router, so I'm going to have a little play around on a scrap piece of wood quickly. <coughs> Dusty. trying to figure this out and report back in five ten minutes <laughs> I found a smaller one should be a bit easier to use he says Something like that. Long way. Just need to figure out what to use as a biscuit. Now I was thinking, I've got loads of this. That would be ideal if I could make that groove a little bit wider. It's just a little bit too wide for that. So I just might just try this. Let's see if that would work. Slightly wider. run big lengths of this along the edge if I rip the thing off.
that went quite well, apart from a little bit here. But I'm just gonna have to do some filling after. To be fair, this piece needs a bit of filling there as well, so it won't hurt. Bit of wood glue, bit of sawdust. I'm pretty sure actually where that is, I need to cut out for the sink and all that anyway. Now I just need some 10 mil strips of this. Rip that down, rip that down. Got my two strips cut. Now I just need to tap them into one piece with a load of glue and then bring the other one on top, glue that in, clamp them up. Simple. Whilst that dries, we've just got a bit of a tidy up major tidy up. I don't think the tongue if you will was or biscuit is dried completely but I don't think it's gonna go properly until it's all compressed together anyway so I'm gonna risk it. Just trying to do it all now. The test run first. These are the sides so these are the backs but because I routed from the faces the router will do an equal amount from that side Whereas the bottoms might be slight, excuse <coughs> me, slightly out. It's definitely going to need some more reinforcing just to stop it swaying so much. Um, if I'll figure that out tomorrow, see how it dries. Good morning, day two near afternoon to be fair. Should have a look how this has fared overnight. I'm a bit nervous. I'm sure all the joiners and carpenters out there are screaming. Should have done this. Doesn't look too bad. I'm surprised. It's a little bit cold in here, so the glue's taken a bit longer to dry. I'll get the heat gun on that quickly. Now I'm just gonna try and work out the biggest square piece I can get out of this. There's not a single straight edge I can come off of. The front edge is gonna stay live edge or wany edge. Back's gone up against the window, so I just need to square that off a little bit. Um, just have a mess about with this and see what I can come up with. It's relatively square there. And then there's a little upstand on the back. I've got this other piece of live edge. So this will go against the outside of the wall. Up against like the window and that. That's your front. Something like that. Because it might need bulking out by five, 10 mil over here. So it does get a little bit narrow, but something like that. I've just got to plane it, sand it. Worth it. The plane is going to be the bottom because I joined with the groove equal at the top. That's that's really quite good. The bottom though, there's quite a step. You'll probably see quite a difference in sizes. You can see that step. It's worse this end. It does get a bit better as it goes on. Be better if I 
could just saw that on it. Does that work? These are the nut extruders I was on about. I only want this one really. 19 mil. Need some more leverage. They sort of bind on as you tighten them, the more they sort of dig into the metal. <sighs> That's a relief. Whilst I'm letting that worktop cure a bit more, if I do anything too drastic to it, although I've just cut through it with a saw, maybe I will plane it. Might wait. Um, for now, I think of just getting a top coat or the first top coat on the wheels. hours of daylight left and thinking of starting the roof vent. sealant was not doing a lot at all. Better get a bowl of wash up. Good. I'm quite glad it's already got a hole in the roof because when we we're doing the sprinter build that was definitely up there with the scariest moments cutting a massive hole into your new van roof. Oh, it's so awkward. Ooh. reuse this frame or even make a slightly narrower one so that this can meet up with the inner bit. I was just reading the instructions which isn't like me and that existing frame won't work so I'm gonna have to make my own out of I think around 30 mil 30 mil max and 45 mil got a piece of oak might do thirty mil bargain let's rip that down to 50 mil. After all that, the oak's not really gonna work. It's just way too all over the place. And it's gonna be quite heavy. So I'm gonna pop out, get some screws, some self-tapping stainless steel screws to go down, to hold it down. I'll get a length of batten. There's a couple other bits I need as well. Just picked up a couple of lengths of CLS to make this frame out of. Before I tackle that though, I think I'm gonna go at the worktop. Will that work? Yeah. Got a feeling I might just 
just be easier with the plane now. I'm going to keep a couple of the wood shavings of sawdust ready to fill the gap on the other side with a bit of wood glue. Don't even think I'm going to plane this, so I'm just going to go over some quite coarse sandpaper and gradually work my way down. Sanders when they're spinning. Ow, ow, ow. Got any blue roll? Quick. Ow. Oh. All plastered up. Just took the end off or a bit of the skin. I don't know. Throbbing a bit now. Czech Republic to the rescue. Scared of that one now. So this is the bottom face. I'm just going to put some glue and sawdust mix in this edge. Let that dry overnight, then I can flip it over or sand it, flip it over, and then do the top edge tomorrow. Right, next up, I'm gonna make this little square timber frame for the roof then. Right, I'm gonna have a quick sweep up, get a final coat not a final coat, another coat on the wheels and call it a night. Good morning, day three. Fingers looking disgusting, but I'm too scared to take it off. So the plaster's gonna stay on for now. I managed to get a coat on the wheels last night. Really pleased with these. I think one or two more coats at some point throughout the day. First thing though, try and fit this roof vent. I have enough coffee in a minute as well. So the plan is, we'll clamp this into place, fire a couple screws down just to hold it in place, and then I can fit the vent from the top, because then at least I've got something solid to screw down into, because otherwise I've got to put that up, put the thingy up there, seal it, hold that up, and then somehow be on the outside of the van to screw down whilst holding it, which I don't think will work. Right, yeah, I'm gonna clamp it. I've got a lot going on up here, but I'm hoping not to have to get down until it's sealed in. Um, my screws, I don't know where to put the camera. <laughs> So to clean the surface properly, I've got some multi-solve which gets rid of any old sealant. So 
So in the instructions it says to apply the sealant to these ridges rather than the roof itself, which I guess makes sense, you get a better guide. Um, if I put that in there, really. sealant wise I'm going for CT1 in white, I've got a couple half tubes left over to use up. Memory card just filled up, so I had to go and take all the footage off. I cleaned my finger up and changed a bandage whilst I was down home as well. Just need to seal the final bit round the outside and in each of the screw holes, but I might let the actual seal cure first. And then inside, this will come up like that. I need to bring this cable down and out through a side somewhere. It'll come through the front. And that seals up, can't remember anyway. That'll come out the side somewhere and then that'll go up. Like that. So we're halfway through day three, and I've only ticked one thing off the list. Worktop's nearly done, I reckon a bit more glue on the other face and I can tick that. I'm pretty certain I'm not going to get round to these steps today but I thought I might as well see how they fit and how it might work and I can go and watch some welding tutorials on good old YouTube I think because this is sturdy I mean I'll have a look at, let's have a look at that first before I speak too soon Fairly solid, it's just the top. So I could grind along here, just use the top bit as an overplate. Looks like it'll fit quite well. This is the worst side. That tin comes up to just above here. So as long as that's sound, get a decent wood along there. Go straight over the top of it. I can probably cut that bit out. Just trying to find something to keep me busy until it gets dark, but I'm running out of oomph and I don't want to start something and not finish it. So I'm going to leave it here. I'll see you next week. Thank you so much to our patrons.